Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Mahmoud Abdullah, and in this presentation, I will represent my paper hybrid CNN LSTM based approach for anomaly detection system in stands. Uh, my agenda first, I give a brief background about traditional network and the SDN. Then the one the challenges or the security challenges in the network and some of different regularization technique used to avoid the problem of overfitting. Then I will demonstrate my proposed CNN LSTM model and the data set used for testing and evaluation and some pre-processing step before we already apply the model. And finally, the experiment results and uh, future work. Here we can see in the figure one, uh, which represents the traditional network or IB traditional network, which you mostly like today, we can find a massive amount of routers and switches. And all of these devices already distributed through the whole network. And in case we already need to access any device to apply any routing, policy, configurations, we, we should access each device individually. This is because the control plan, which is already responsible to, uh, for decision making, and data plan, which is responsible to forward the traffic between source and destination, are integrated in the same device. And this is can increase the uh, difficulties in the management and error prone. Uh, to solve this problem, we use software to find network is a new paradigm. And the key idea behind the SDN, we already separate the control plan from data plan. And all of data plan devices, router and switches, similar to dummy devices, not participate in any decision making. And all of configuration can be done by the SDN controller and push this configuration for any devices or in the data plan or in underneath infrastructure. We also can implement any application through NorseBound API. And this is application like security applications, load balancer, quality of service, and so on. However, uh, one of the biggest challenges in the network is the security. In fact, the security in the SDN network is double-edged sword. We can use the SDN to enhance the security by implementing new uh, application, security application like firewall or intelligent detection system. But unfortunately, at the same time, separating the controller from data plan devices can generate new attack classes that not exist before in traditional network. For example, the attacks in the communication channel between the controller and the data plan devices, or attack in the controller itself, or in the communication between different controllers in case we're already using clustering. Uh, one of this attack most dangerous is denial of surface attack or distributed denial of surface attack. Since all SDN layers can be targeted for DDoS attack. And because of that, intrusion detection system are very important to uh, monitoring and detect the malicious traffic before it can overwhelm the whole network. Uh, currently, different techniques are used, but uh, machine learning and deep learning techniques are widely used for uh, intrusion detection. However, uh, one of the biggest challenges for deep and machine learning techniques is the problem of overfitting. And I mean here the problem of overfitting, how we can guarantee this model not only perform very well during the training, but also can perform for new data in the testing data or uh, the data that never seen before during the training. And if we already enhance the model to detect the new traffic or in different way, enhances the, the model to solve the problem of overfitting, we can use this, this model for uh, anomaly detection to detect the attacks that never seen before. Um, here in the fitting, we have three different fitting of the model and the past or good fitting, which is the middle one. And this model already performed very well during the training, performed very well during the testing. This is the practical or ideal case, but mostly it not almost happen. We have also the model when under underfitted and uh, the model underfitted, which means uh, it's not able to 
extract the rich information from the input data. This is because we already apply linear model for nonlinear data. Uh, and we can easily enhance the performance of the model in this case by increasing the number of hidden layers or increasing the number of neurons per hidden layer. But the biggest challenge here is the overfitting problem. The model is very well during the training, but when we already apply it for new data, it performs very bad. And this is because the model is very complex enough to learn the out layers or the noise in the input data. But unfortunately, when we already apply it for new data, it's not performing very well. Uh, to solve this problem, we use different regularization technique and widely used regularization, L1, L2 regularizations, and drop out method. In regularization uh, techniques like L1, the, the key idea behind regularization, we, we adding a new term to the cost function. So the cost function equals a loss. We're adding a new regularization term, and this term called absolute value of magnitude in case of L1 and uh, square value of magnitude in case of L2. And the key idea to adding the regularization to penalize the model weight or making the weight uh, less. And when we already penalize the weight, we can obtain smaller weights, and the smaller weights, of course, leading to a simpler model and a simpler model less for overfitting. Uh, for example, here in this graph, L1 or L2, uh, the best practice we need to reach it to the dot, the gradient here, the ideal point. And but we assume at this point is the overfitting can occur. But since we already uh, constrained by another space, which is uh, norm space and equal to L1 or L2. And this space already prevents the model to reach to the dot. And if already uh, prevent the model to reach to this point, we can avoid the problem of overfitting. Of course, we sacrifice by a part of the training uh, performance, but at least we already guarantee this model can work very well for new data for new data. Uh, another method to solve the problem of overfitting is drop out method. And the drop out, we already uh, drop some neurons during the training. We not consider all of the neurons, but we consider all of drop neurons in the testing. For example, here, if we're already using a drop out uh, with probability equal half, and this is mean, Half of neurons not considered during the training. But in the testing, we take all of these neurons. Uh, the model I used here, I already combined CNN with LSTM. And I combined both CNN and LSTM to learn the spatial and the temporal features of the input data. Uh, the model I used, I used here two convolutional layer, and each layer already followed by max pooling layer. And I used a regularization technique, used L2, which is widely uh, used compared to L1, and drop out method. And after that, the extractions from the CNN already passing to new LSTM layer with number of actions equal 128. And the output of LSTM already passing through fully connected layer and finally go to soft max layer uh, for classifications. Uh, the data set I used, since we already apply this model for SDN network, I used INSD data set, and this data set already generated, was generated in 2020, and consider different kind of attacks, like data to control plant duration attack, link to flooding attack, full rule flooding attack, password guessing attack, Remote applications attack. It's so consider the new attacks that not exist before in traditional network, as well the common attacks between STN and uh, traditional network. Before we already apply the model, we should to prepare the data set first, and some very steps should be taken. First, we already select 48 uh, features from the data, and the reason for that. This feature already easy to obtain in SDN network. 
And after that, we already risk killing the data using the standardization method and making all of which are all converted the feature to into new scale where uh, mean equal zero and the standard deviation of one. And after that, to, to, to test the efficiency of the model, I used some attacks in the testing data that not exist during the training to test how this model can perform very well for new traffic. The number of records I used for training and the testing equal 130, 130, uh, 1, 30, 30 for training and 74.3 for testing. The results here, I already compare the model performance against CNN, individual models against CNN with L2 regularization, against the LSTM, against the CNN standard without any regularization technique. We can uh, find here um, the proposed model already performed very well compared to all other techniques. And as well, uh, the CNN, when we're already adding a regularization method, performance very well compared to the CNN, uh, the standalone CNN without any uh, regularization. This means the regularization can enhance the performance of the model for new uh, attacks for to detect anomaly, for, to, to be used for anomaly detection, to detect the attacks that are never seen before during the training. Uh, for further evaluation of the model, I already uh, represented the accuracy of different approaches and the rock, the area under curve to represent the relation between false positive and true positive. We can see as well that CNN with LSTM uh, give AUC, which is the area under curve, 0.956, and which is higher from all of the front techniques. And we can see again the standard CNN without any regularization perform very bad compared to other different techniques. The same way for the accuracy, we can find here CNN with LSTM perform very high with accuracy equal to 96.3%, while the CNN standard alone perform uh, quite small with accuracy equal 90.7. And the LSTM, of course, higher from the CNN, but CNN with regularization perform very well compared to other individual algorithms. Uh, the limitation of this work, unfortunately, is the percentage of false positive and false negative is still high with percentage of six and three percentage. This is one of the limitation of this work, but we agree here, I'm already using supervised learning for anomaly detection to detect the attacks that I've never seen before. And I tested this model by using traffic samples in during the testing different from already used during the training. And because of that, of course, uh, the, the percentage of false negative is still high, but if we already compare this model with different unsupervised learning technique, we can already uh, find this model is still performing very well. Uh, for the future work, I'm already planning to implement the support model in a real SDN network and it test the performance of the model in terms of robot and latency. Thank you very much for listening.